four as he groups in front of car racing and a rich history throughout the drag racing community. They serve a wide variety of performance oriented customers from land, water, and air. For fast accelerating race cars to record chasing land speed cars, torque loving tractor pullers to drag boats and more, Littlefield Blowers is your one stop shop for more power. 714-992-9292 is the phone number. www.littlefieldblowers.com is the website. The official supercharger of Funny Car Chaos, Littlefield Blowers. And the fires are lit as we go second round Funny Car Qualifying here on a beautiful Friday. Quick break, Dallas, and we're back. Texas. It is going to be Matt Nissen driving the Razzle Dazzle Camaro out of Alma, Nebraska. Matt Nissen. Sun's out again. Got a clear sky. Got to have a little bit of glare. There's George. You're back. We're all back. Everybody's getting jumping back on. Matt Nissen's funny car is called Run It Down Dream. So you might. There's still a lot of cars. But they all. Pull back in the lanes again. I bet you they're at least half full from what they were in the first round. Maybe a lot of guys might be opting out till the evening run. Uh, I'm going to say around 8, 8.30 when it gets dark. They said 7 o'clock, but they're going to run a bunch of cars before that. All their different rounds of other stuff they have here. So I'm going to say 8 o'clock-ish, 8.30 when it gets dark. Hey, Gary. On the qualifying list, that is right in the very middle Ooh, that of the good. Wolf Pumps C field. All that subject to change, and oh yeah, it's going to change. What is it? As we have like second round funny car qualifying underway at the Texas Motor Plex. Matt Nissen stages the car. Wow, did you guys hear that, didn't you? Boom. Where the uh, acceleration stopped, he goes 497, coasting at 105, 198 miles an hour. So the 433 from the first shot is going to be the number that they live with for a while anyway. Looks like they may be able to come back for that third and final shot. So top end clear, and we are now ready for our next cars to go down the racetrack. Looks like the nitro fuel machine of Donald Knobloch, the Atomic Punk, comes into this event after a win here at the Motorplex back in March at the Funny Car Classic. Comes into this event number eight in points, hoping to move up about three spots and finish in the number five spot and in the money. once again for the Atomic Punk. As that car is punking them. He's running now. Jordan Bellew, the dry hot king. All right. Out of Barnesville, Oklahoma. He was on here with right us now, in the earlier right first round. Let's see how he does again. Seafield. We missed his first with pass. We were just getting up in here. Four seconds. I got glared. I lose him. Where is he? There he is. It's pretty glary up here, you guys. These stands are like polished almost. Second single run. <laughs> oh, 
of the round as we have funny cars coming into the stage funny. lanes, getting the opportunity to earn those five points and making a second run down the eighth mile here at the Texas Motorplex. It's the dry hop king doing that thing he do. All right. Jordan Ballou. Well, I'll see if I can keep track of him. I cannot right, Blue, see him hardly in the lanes here. In the now. lens. I'm going to see if he can quicken the tempo a little bit here. 1969 Camaro body front of the car. Beautiful paint job. When you get a chance to stroke, Excuse me, guys. Go up to this car and look at the detail. Yeah. Okay, well. Spun the tires or something up there. That's what he needed. He just needed the points, huh? Smart dude. Just make an easy pass, save it for later. We'll see. I'd have a pair of nitro cars. Come back to the atomic bunk. We'll fire this time. We certainly have another nitro car on the left side, so I have it an atomic bunk. All right, Keith. Next up, it'll be. Keith is up.
but only four hundredths off from their previous run. So they will stay with the 428. They will get bumped back one as Donald Knobloch goes from 439 to 404. And a 404 with a zero will move them just ahead of Brad Tuttle into the number two spot in the Alpenegger B field for now. So score another five points for Donald Knobloch. See, they are keeping pace, proving every point that they can get. Looks like we are just about ready to light the next pair. So Top end is top end is clear. We're checking on this end of the racetrack. It's like maximum overdrive. Smiley Cordero from San Antonio, Texas, comes into this event. Number nine in the points. Smiley's run earlier. Surprising to all of us as this car goes A to B just about every time down the racetrack. Didn't happen this uh, in the first qualifying shot. I'm sure that they have got that uh, situation taken care of, and we're probably going to be looking at a low four-second run from the maximum overdrive car out of San Antonio in the Bills trailer sales lane. Alex Barker right now sits number three in the Performance Motor Coaches D field, having run a best of 462 at 149 miles an hour on their previous run. So, lighting some fires, gonna light some tires here in just a second. Can't see a doggone thing on my screen. That's going to bump Corey Mack back into the Alpenegger B field. He's going to have to move up tonight. Placing Jeff Cameron on the bump spot in the Rodan Custom Coffee A field. Well, that's for now. This is all subject to change as everybody gets another chance to go down the racetrack either in this qualifying round or in the final one coming up under the lights at 7 o'clock. Race fans, your friends need to be here at the Texas Motorplex as it's going to get even better as the day goes on, as there gets to be 
more data collected by these awesome crews. They will plug that data into their tune-up and you will see the elapsed times fall and the speeds go up. Randy Mueller and Chuck Lofton, both from the San Antonio area. Florence, Texas, home for Randy Mueller on the left side and that crazy Randy Firebird. And Seguin, Texas, home for the Motivation Mach 1 of Chuck Lofton. Chuck's best run, he probably would rather I did not tell you. So I won't. But he's looking to step it up. Big time. Crazy Randy had a 541 as he was off the throttle early in the Crazy Randy Firebird. Randy had a runner-up finish out at Penwell Nights Raceway. I thought the other guy shut off. That's why they were pushing him back. I didn't know he was still running. My Chuck, that surprised me. He blew the tires off. They're doing something different. They usually run good. They're trying something different, probably. Just sit here for a few minutes. Hey, Jeff. Driver bonus. What 
Carney Car Chaos is proud to name Ellis County Custom Carts as the official golf cart supplier of the series for the 2022 season. If you're looking for a new cart for the pits or something customized to your wildest imagination, maybe you just want to freshen up your old car that you've been using for years. Mark Wells and the team at Ellis County Custom Carts is a name you need to know for your golf cart application. They've got news. They've got news. They can customize it. Make it just like you need it. Mark Wells and a good way to move to 214, 212, 2975. And yeah, but they can be the good news. And that's the most shot you all find out about the golf carts out there. Breeze going, helping us. Car Chicks is the premier motorsports organization for women. Stay Get cool. Jewelry, tank tops, hoodies, t-shirts, and more. It's all available for you right here at the track. You'll be impressed with the quality of their products and the spirit of their message. Money Car Chaos winners, Nancy Matter, Jay Cook, and series co-founder, Tara Graves, exemplify the world's women are playing in motorsports today. You'll look great. You're supporting the empowering message of car chicks where they're here. Stop them and see Jeanette at 
car chicks on the Fender Midway, kind of behind the tower over there, between the tower and the stage of Lansing. Be sure to go by and see her. Find out what she's got. We're have a little meeting, trying to figure out what they're going to do. <clears throat> Looks like they're bringing the torch out, so something's not good right we there. Dropping uh, rosin down, as you can see that. Whoa, there's a nice little tap. These guys are putting rosin down, if you can see it. You can see them tapping, uh, tamping the track with it. So whatever said they don't like it, so they're going to put, put that down, burn it in. Okay, if you guys heard that, one o'clock is the start of the show tomorrow. seconds so far there will be more just go ahead and write that down they're scraping off what they don't like there will be more all right so the race crew consulting up there in the mid-range of the track on the toyota side of the christmas tree 
Should be back to racing here momentarily. Hope you've had a chance to enjoy some of the food from our great food vendors out there. Go by and get yourself some of the barbecue, some of the burgers, some of the corn dogs with fries, ice cold drinks of all different types. And oh, by the way, have you seen the event shirts? There's only one place to get them, and that is at Fat Tires Apparel. Fat Tires Apparel has got four different colors. You're going to like what you see with the design. It's probably best of the year. And you can take those home, one for you, one for everybody in your home crew. Fat Tires Apparel. That's right. One of our presenting sponsors for the Funny Bar Chaos Championship Tour. Go by and be sure that Corey and Amanda Ford know how much you appreciate their ongoing support. Take home some of those t-shirts, the event shirts. Only a little at one spot of that is Fat Tires Apparel. Funny Bar Chaos wants us to wish a happy birthday to Scott McKinstry and to Lynn Lowe. Also to Lee Ramey and to Don Yule. Happy birthday, gentlemen. And Frank's TV as well. Scraped off some bad rubber they didn't like. They're probably going to make a few more passes. But, uh, but they didn't like. Yeah. Yeah. Your pride and joy needs to be protected. Police Motorsports Insurance is absolutely the name you need to know. This is the 38th. Funny Car Chaos event there has ever been. Wow. Right in that spot, they don't like it right there. They're going to keep dragging. They're going to do the whole track now, but, well, maybe not. Yep, they don't like that. Whatever's happened right there, they're going to groom that into shape to make them happy. Championship Tour 
to fourth year that we've had a championship chase. Looking forward to great announcements coming in the offseason. Those will be materializing very, very soon. Crazy. Feels good. news if you heard that. Let's see if they're going to make that their final pass or close to it.
turning around. Ed Wolf and the team at Wolf Pumps have decades of experience in drag racing and they bring that knowledge to their top tier production line. Wolf Pumps provides new and used parts and service for dry sump oil pumps, belt driven oil pumps, fuel pumps, priming pumps, and more. Replacement parts are also available. <laughs> side a little bit. And so that lane feels happy. They're getting to get neglected. generation South Louisiana multi-line insurance agency. For the last 30 years, the Lloris family has spent much of their spare time doing and thinking about only one thing, racing. Naturally, the Lloris family tried to take their success helping energy clients on the Gulf Coast with their insurance needs. This is racing is a kind of thing that their assets exposed. The Lloris family quickly realized that this is a kind of thing Searching their options, it was determined the best way to address the unique needs. Fellow drag racers would be to sponsor a captive insurance company, which was widely the the
Flow Race Motorsports Insurance, bringing you the live stream on FlowRacing.com. That's the same exact service that Lyle Greenberg uses to tune in to yeah. the Funny Car Chaos Hey, Lyle. was entered for the event, the Cone Hunter Corvette Funny Car that got the A field win back in March at the Funny Car Classic, but um, had some uh, difficulty with strep throw. Oh man. He was unable to make it down here, so we are sending a shout out. All the yeah. Kit Will wishes back to Albuquerque, New Mexico. We want to know Lyle I hope you're on, Lyle. Right. I hope you so heard that. that. Uh, mm -hmm. Final lap has concluded. They took the checker and they're headed back to pits in the tractors. Now it's time for the funny cars to retake control of the racetrack. Smokey Blanton from Dumas, Texas. Kirk Williams from Glenwood, Iowa, strapped into their race cars. Race crews, crank them up. Get them ready for another assault. On the 660 here in Texas, Motorplex. Smokey Blanton ran a 7.30 first time down the racetrack as the car lost traction immediately. There's Lyle. See you now. I can't see my screen hardly at, ever, at all. <laughs> all right. Thanks, Lyle. Whoops, sorry, I lost track again. We got a lot of glare up here. They're going to get hooked up. Well, uh, we won't expect you to do any, you know, status status work this time around since you probably can't talk well, but, you know, if you want to chime in text-wise, we'll take it. But, yeah, too bad you couldn't be here. But I don't know. It, maybe the track's not there as much as I thought. I've seen a lot of guys, you know, some guys can make it down, others can't, so I can't say the track's bad. I if other guys have already run 390s, it can't be that bad. And 380s, a few alters ran a 383, and they're on a 380 dial, so they're right. That was right there. Hey, Al. So both cars instantly go up in smoke, start hopping down the racetrack, a little bit sideways, doing that dance, doing that jig, and coasting on down the racetrack. So we will... Clear the top end, and we will be ready to line up another pair of funny cars. Oh, my stars. These Dodge Adventure funny cars are both beautiful. They are both bad to the bone hot rods. On the right side of the Toyota plane, that is none other than San Antonio's own Nitro Nick Holson. As Nitro Nick comes into this round, hoping I don't tell you what he ran in the previous round, but he is qualified. <laughs> and... Mike Newker, he's on the other end of the spectrum, as his disturbed screw charge Miner Brothers power plant. Dodge Avenger 
Buddy Car ran a 380 with a 0.9 to 199.44 miles an hour. They are excited about what that race car has done already. Nitro Nick and Team Bucket List after a good trip to Ocan Drag Race. Hey, Lisa. There you go. 381. He can just jump into the three second club barely. Oh no, oh no, no, no. He goes right to the middle. <laughs> That'd be number five, I think. Number five or number six, actually, is that three second club is getting kind of crowded. In fact, the Rodat Custom Coffee A field won't hold all of the three second cars. Yeah. So there are more than eight. We are now at 10 or 11. Cool. Cars down the racetrack in under four seconds. The bucket list, Dodge Avenger, takes the car through the finish line at 194.97 miles an hour turn Mike Duker, his 380 earlier will keep him in a good spot, but they uh, did not improve on that one down the race track. All right, race fans, show them some love as they go to pick up their drivers as the improvements continue. So the first guy down the racetrack in under four seconds of this here event was Corey Mack. Corey McLenathan is in the Toyota lane out of Corona, California. Corey ran a 396 on his earlier shot, Tom Purchase. There's about 45 or 46, and they're going to run a 32 car field. You know, I mean, maybe CD, maybe E groups, based on their ET, of course. A lot of cars. I think there's maybe half of them in line now. If, if, I hope so, so they can get them all run and get, be, I'll be back for the final round. It takes them a while to get, get through the, all the cars. 
By the time they get through it, we only had a five or ten minute break between rounds. different at the other end but and quarterback picks it up a little bit by three one hundredths of a second so the three ninety three with an eight will move him up ahead of Jeff Cameron as he will bump right back in to the road at customer <laughs> all right Corey yeah who just got bumped back to the top of the Alpha Deer B field is ready to go down the Phil's trailer sales next that my friends is Jeff Cameron all right, Jeff. Jeff Cameron's run in the first round yeah. was a 394. A lot of cars. That mile per hour indicating that he was coasting across the 660-foot finish line to the timing trap at the top end of the racetrack. So there's a lot more there. They can keep it glued to the track A to B and go all the way down the racetrack. Then they can certainly join that 38 club. Let's see if they can put that power to the ground and get themselves back in the game field. Might be their strategy, might not be their strategy. One of the things that these racers always do is analyze the points. As they apply the tune-up to the car. So, it's all in, like Flynn at the moment. Jeff Cameron. Grew up in uh, West Texas. Not West Commentations. Is that you, Ray? He might have a single. I don't see anybody pulling up next to him. Maybe they're running. Uh... Yeah, I don't see anyone. Are coming up tomorrow tonight. Wow, that's that sounds like a good one, but the floor is whining like a son of a gun. There he goes. The altars are supposed to run tonight, I believe, just for a uh, qualifying shot, and they're doing round robin tomorrow, uh, Rich. So they'll all run, and I think they're running off a 380 index, I believe, for the, for the, the alters. Any of the alters. Hey, Janet. 
Yeah, that was zero. pretty good already. That thing was moving. Three eighties. We'll have to go out to the fourth digit to see how that compares to Terry Totten's three eighty with. Hey, three. Phil. There's my red HHR. We've been seeing that everywhere. There must be a couple of them around. We think it's all their crew all the time, but. Here we go. Dustin comes into this event after two final rounds. We started the season. Yeah. Yeah. I think this is a good example of a double B car from back in the area. But even though he's got that big old injector, I think it just reminds me of that a lot. Oh, okay. That's good to know, Lyle. Thank you. Because you can hear the blower at the end of the show. I don't know if you guys heard it. It was whining when it, when it was shutting off. So I was wondering what, what all that was. Way to go, guys. Keep it up. Wow. That much? All the Jeez. <laughs> That's why it's whining so loud, huh? Holy crap. Had a run of 429 on his first shot down the racetrack. May have been under four seconds. Let's see what the car does now. Oh, a little early. Yeah, maybe that's why. Maybe it didn't shift. Was it? Okay. Love that car. He no doubt's looking around the side of that thing, or maybe it's thin enough at the neck where he can see around it. And then the good old... Cobra head injector sticks way up there at the top where it's not in his way, probably. Even if it is, it still looks cool like an old double B car from the back in the day. Oop, there goes the track guys for whatever reason. All right, so the race crew heading out there to the mid range of the Oh. Oh, nope. hopefully you didn't hurt put nothing on the track. <laughs> he, did, he barely got off. He's just past the wall. Looks like the man wore Mustang. Well, it appears to be going so low down that Phil's trailer sales lane right at the moment. See it far on the right side. So perhaps another single run for this team out of Brooklyn and Road. Yeah, there you go. That's a good comparison, Lyle. Yeah. Yeah. Shane Lawson's best run so far, 417 on his first shot down the racetrack. Another car that has visited the 37 location. Certainly one that we able to put down a good one right here. Race fans, let your friends know that we go with our feature presentation tonight. That is at 7 o'clock. It's cooling off now, uh, Ray. It's probably getting in the high 70s. The uh, earlier it was a little humid when they had a uh, lot of cloud cover, which is nice. Kept the track, you know, not so hot. But uh, in the last couple hours, the sun's been out. But now we got a steady breeze, so it's nice and cool. I'd say high 70s, maybe low 80s. Real comfortable. Real nice. By our very own Monday morning racer, Lee Kraft, putting that great information together for all the fans of Funny Car Chaos. So here we go. This car being tuned by none other than three time world champion. 
Ken Singleton. Oh, okay. But, but still ran probably what four, four twenty something, four twenty five. So Mr. Lawson's wild ride, that's a four twenty five, not a big one. It's a four seventeen. However, the nine eight six sixty foot indicates that that car was leaving. Yeah, it did come off the line good, didn't it? So they will stay where they were with the four seventeen, and our next money car is coming through the tunnel. Looks like it's going to be. The Nemesis Nitrous Boosted Funny Car in the Phil's Trader Sales Lane. As we get a pair, and uh, I believe this is Chance Biffle in the Toyota Lane. So the team, the team car is lining up side by side. Chance Biffle on the outside looking in as the car did not want to uh, do right. As in Dudley? What's for dinner tonight? The Corvette body funny car takes the tour. One of those big away. giant things you'll be catching. This is yes, some big fish. Indeed, that car. First time down the racetrack. They call the car Bad Intentions. And uh, apparently it had some on that earlier run down the racetrack. It was certainly a handful. As my old buddy Bobby Hunt back in Chippewa, Mississippi would say, Carl do just won't do right. We've seen that car do right on occasion. Well, the sun's going down at a better angle. I can see the cars get on the screen. It's getting a little easier to fall. That glare off the stands is pretty hard to see everything. So. Three bulbs lit now. Trying to decide who to stay with on that one. Mm. So that 465 might only get them in the performance motor coaches D field, but it does get them in the show. And the nitrous boosted car of Jay Cooper is a 520. Yeah. So the yeah. 451 Jay. Their burnout made it look like they were going to do a little better. Oh, yeah, I don't get a chance to see this uh, Van Allen Brothers melt racing ice left? funny car from this angle Barely very not. often. you got to check it out because you get a chance to see that oh. body. I mean, the wrap on Excuse that me, guys. is so kind of awesome. The 
by and see them. And the performance on that dude is also some kind of awesome. As they went down the racetrack in 3.77 seconds. At Not over yet, but almost there's a lot of 380s the for the, the you track. know. Put it in the Toyota lane this time. For the main field. And for the A field, there's a lot of 380s. I think six or eight of them already. They're all crammed right in there at an 80, maybe an 82 to an 86, maybe. They're pretty crammed in there. Presently on the outside looking in as the car lost fire right after the hit. Did not record. Hey, Bruce. does get the points for making the run and taking the tree. So Camaro versus Mustang. That might have happened a time or two. Quick stop to it if you guys heard the tires belt squelching on it. Same, but their place on the track wasn't. John Tabadig. And the 394 to 409 as both those cars were getting it done. Great view from this vantage point. Those cars were getting it done down the 660 here at the Texas Motorplex. Not an improvement for Lance Van Allen, but a big for certainly another good run under four seconds. And a whole lot of. John and one other person had some great. Uh, photos and videos of the wheel stand uh, competition at uh, which track I don't recall John but it was really good stuff they had the guys could hang it they were just great hanging wheel stands all the way down the track a lot of the cars Pretty sure there is, uh, Ray, a D field. Oh, that's where it was, Byron. Yeah, thanks, thanks, Sean. Yeah, that was great when you did all had all those photos. If you guys like wheel stands, John's got great coverage of that. Good stuff. However, there's still the qualifying round yet to go as we go under the lights a little bit later on this evening. Well, I was going to say, I was getting ready, maybe this might be the last pair, but I see a truck coming through, so we got more. Clay Cunningham got the win in the Wolf Pump Seafield at the Funny Car Classic right here. Texas World Flex back in March to kick off our season. Hey, Shay. That got to West Texas to Kenwell Lines Raceway, where he claimed the win in the Wolf Pump Seafield. That Saturday night. Let's see, so four A, B, C. It should have a D field, huh, Ray? They got 32 cars. That'd be eight, eight per field. 
Yeah, there you go. Thanks, Lyle. See, I just had to wait for Lyle to put in his stat. <laughs> it took my brain that long just to, to add up how many cars would fill four, four fields. So, you know. Funny car qualifying on Friday afternoon. Let your friends know that it's going to get even quicker and even faster. As the day goes on, they need to be sure to come on out for the Friday night under the lights that we've got coming your way beginning at 7 o'clock. <laughs> All right, it's time for another pair of high horsepower funny cars to take the track. Colorado right side, Texas left side. See a blue body up there. So the argument that there's no traction. Hi, see you in a bit, Ray. There is no weight, as we are seeing plenty of cars go under four seconds. Actually, two cars under 3.7 seconds, and three cars over 200 miles an hour. Hey, Jim. Number two, Jaeger. Number three will be in a bit in the dark. They'll probably start at, they say seven, but by the time they get to the next field, you know, after they run the 
Dirty South gassers and a few others. It'll probably be 8 o'clock, 8.30 maybe. So they want it dark, but we'll see. Sounds really good. Yep, it definitely was running good. It just annihilated the good years or whatever they're using. It's too bad. They uh, they're gonna have to put it together tonight to get it to run. I believe they. I don't think they ran the first round. They might have got in the field, but it won't be in the one they want to be in. Still running. Still hasn't gotten off the track yet. He's trying to get down there, but. Nope, there he shut it off, but will it get off the track? Ugh, barely. All right, so the <laughs> Well, after our, I was asked about what round of qualifying this was, I didn't know how to respond to Mr. Uh, to Mr. Foreman's uh, answer. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that was about it, huh? Looks like we have, uh, yeah, one more. So this car's got the... Tires so new, the stickers are still on. Bring them in live at the Texas Motor Yeah, they can not put it together, huh? Hey, Joe. We'll get you the report as soon as we are able as to how much the deck was shuffled. Hmm. One last qualifying opportunity. Under the lights tonight, the third and final qualifying shot coming your way. Night under the lights with 30 South Gasser, Superstockers, and Hot Rods, Lone Star. Vic, what's happening? Outlaw Fuel Alters. Third and final qualifying. Oh, funny car oh okay. The Jets. Your friends ought to be here. Joe's the boot. Debut. Off at 7 o'clock tonight. So even if they get off work at 5 o'clock, well, that sounds good. I'll start at 7 to we watch the gassers and all that, you guys, just to make sure we don't miss nothing. Have them come on out. Well, the from Looks like the motor's in the front of, the, of this thing. Long nose. Like an outlaw top fuel too, because I don't. Those back tires don't look like uh, something you'd see on, uh, you know, the usual deal in our end of town. Those are pretty big tires. It looks like. They are, huh, Vic? All right, well. Being prepared for 2023. They don't look tall enough to be a big retire, but. Yeah. Nitro Chaos, yeah. Oh, 
Oh, I think I was thinking they were just some short fatties, but they're only 12 inch. I was thinking they're 14s or something. But, but uh, you know, a small tire, two. The, the outlaws run a big tire. As you know. Okay. Nice little blip down there to see what would happen. There's still another truck under the tower there. Looks like there's a body on it. There's Nitro Kevin going under the tower. Get ready to get get ready for his run. <laughs> There's Brian getting him in the water box, it looks like, or getting close to it. Well, race fans, we are going with our second round of Funny Car. All right. Five. Well. We Yep. You heard what he said. I'm going to do that, you guys. Take a little break. Charge the battery. And we'll be back around just a little before 7. And we'll talk to you then. Thanks for hanging. I'm hanging it up. See you then.